Today on Nate's Interactive Auto, engine oil myths that cause engine failure and for you to avoid your manufacturer's warranty with proof from a lab with millions of dollars of lab testing equipment. Independently testing, no strings attached. They haven't sponsored this video, none of that crap. So take a look at the oils behind us. We have engine oils that claim to go 20, 25,000 miles or more. But not only that, we have a car behind us, a 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT, and it claims to change your engine oil 7,500 miles. But why is the car manufacturer stating to change oil at different times as the oil manufacturers? Well, there's several reasons for this. And before we get into the actual proof, there's something you guys definitely need to know. Now, why are they doing this? It's pretty simple. Think about it. The cost. And there's different things that come into play here. For example, we have engine oil that, yes, it may go the distance. And even if you look into your driver's manual, inside your vehicle, you'll see that they'll actually say under normal driving conditions, which is pretty funny. A severe driving condition cuts the time in half from say 7,500 miles to about 3,000, 3,500 miles or so. And what is that? Severe driving? Well, if you drive in a lot of stop and go traffic, city traffic, um, over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, yes, the ambient temperature plays a difference. Or you drive in uh, mountainous areas, a lot of hills, so forth, uh, dusty roads, um, you don't drive your vehicle um, longer than 10 minutes at a time, a lot of short distance driving, and that's um, under a certain temperature. And then if you drive uh, at least 20 minutes or so ab above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's okay. Now, it's a little bit different per manufacturer, but as you'll find, most of them use a lot of the same um, steels and so forth uh, used in the manufacturing process. So, why is it so different? Well, as far as the 25,000 mile oil change or 20,000 mile oil change with the Mobile One Annual Protection, they've done ASTM testing. Now, the Automotive Society testing is a standard that's used internationally. And with this testing, it's actually shown um, over testing multiple vehicles, uh, Chevrolet, uh, Toyota, uh, Ford, that they have direct injection, turbocharged, 100 and some odd thousand miles each, doing 20,000 mile engine oil change intervals. They broke the engines down after over 100,000 miles, uh, measured the crankshafts, the bearings, everything. And it come down to the actual spec for a new vehicle. So, from those standards, that's pretty good. Now I did say that the test stopped at a little over a hundred some thousand miles uh, for that particular testing. So one of the worst things that I've been told from an actual lab that they find, and they do a lot of testing for everyone, fleets, uh, a lot of trucking companies, is actually contaminants. So you go to Joe Schmo's garage down here and what do they do? Um, they use this old oil rag that's they probably wanted to wipe grease off their hands and so forth. I know, been there, done that many a times. So you wipe the grease and so forth off your hands. You don't want to be touching everything with it and you don't want it all over you. Well, everything sticks to that grease. You're changing brake pads. You're doing all this sorts of work, dust, dirt. I mean, um, a mechanic shop usually isn't uh, spick and span like Mr. Clean. So these particles stick to this. And that's all it takes is a few particles of say silica, sand, or anything to stick to this brought in from the tires, just changing tires even. And so now all of a sudden, they just use this dirty old rag. They pull your dipstick out, wipe your dipstick, check your oil once they've changed it, or when they're taking your filter off, they wipe around where the seal goes. And if they don't, well, that's probably not good either. So. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of problems here, and I can see why they say that contaminants can be the worst, for sure. Now guys, please, I want you to see that we have tested engine oil, and we're going to do it at different uh, engine oil intervals. 
so then we're going to move on to using a different oil for the first testing we're going to use the same oil though i feel like we need to do that first that way you know it's the same exact oil and we'll see how um, the vehicle can handle it up to the manufacturer's warranty and we'll even go beyond that once we start using the other engine oils as well make sure you share this guys please with someone you know that may be interested in the results comment let us know if you've done any testing what your experience is of what engine oils you've used for uh, long engine oil drain intervals how it worked out for you and if you've used one for the life of the vehicle please this really does help a lot of other people because they like looking into this stuff and see what they should or should not do now one thing even mobile one and ams oil and so forth state you need to follow your manufacturer's recommendations so it might say 25,000 miles by mobile one but if Honda says change it at at least 7,500 miles, well then that's what you need to do. But if you ever get that, need to turn that in on a warranty, something goes wrong, they hopefully they don't use it against you and say, well, you lived in this area um, of the mountains and now look, so you didn't fall under the normal con driving conditions. I've actually seen that happen and you do not want to go down that road. It's pretty dirty, but it happens. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.